And this is another packed final. And I think uh, one name stands out above all. But where does the challenge come from for Jessica Long? I mean, Jessica Long, this is her race to lose. She, I think she's going to go out. She's not going to have a great start. But then her fly is, is beautiful. And she's immediately, I'd say probably after the first 25 or 30 meters, meters she's going to have clean water both to the left and the right. And she won't see that at all. Representing uh, Denmark going in lane eight, Amali Winter in the first final in three attempts. Going for the United States in lane one, the 18-year-old Haven Shepherd. Vendula Duskova, a 23-year-old occupational therapist who has made backstroke and freestyle finals in uh, Rio, but in her first IM final at the Paralympic Games. Very young swimmer is uh, Mira Jean-Marc. Fifth in the 100 back, fifth in uh, the 2020 European Championships. The Berliner swim team swimmer. 22-year-old, won three medals at the 2019 Parapan American Games in Peru. She goes for Colombia in lane six, does Gonzalez. Senia Francesca Palazzo, a 23-year-old, fourth in the 100 backstroke, Russian mother, Italian father. Brother is also a swimmer and a water polo player in the S14 classification. Maria Pavlova, bronze at the European Championships, comes out to swim in lane five, and she will be alongside Jessica Long. Jessica Long is an icon. She's the listed as the hero for virtually everyone in this field. She's the Paralympic record holder, not the world record holder any longer in the 200 IM, but she's swimming in a field of swimmers. Haven Shepherd, hero is Jessica Long. Mira Jean-Marc, hero is Jessica Long. Palazzo, Federico Pellegrini, great Italian. Thought we'd shift it up a little. But this is going to be a big race for Jessica Long because world champion in 2006, in 2010, 2013, 2015, 2017, didn't swim in 2019. Jessica Long going for her milestone 25th Paralympic Games medal here. 13 golds, 6 silver, 5 bronze. Only once has she failed to final in 30 events. And that was in a freestyle event in Rio. Shepard, Mark, Palazzo, Long, Pavlova, Gonzalez, Dushkova, and Finter. So not getting too much off the turns and certainly off the starting blocks, Jessica Long, but once she's in the stroke, you spoke about how technically almost perfection watching her stroke. The upper body is incredible and the technical aspects that she brings to swimming have been so outstanding it has stood her in good stead despite the disadvantage she has on either end of the pool yeah i mean jessica long has trained both able-bodied and with disabled swimmers and that's really made a huge impact on some of her strokes here she is in the fly look how clean she is she doesn't appear to tire at all she trains a lot all the time i, I mean she's just her, she's in incredible shape at the moment and here she is coming into the backstroke she's got clean fingertip entry she's going in a very straight line I mean, if you want to know how to swim with your upper body, Jessica Long is the one to emulate. She's looking so good in the backstroke here. She was uh, third overall in the women's 100 meter backstroke. She will be caught ever so slightly by Palazzo, I suspect, but she's going to make a uh, massive difference here to her attempt to claim this title. She'll go into the breaststroke and then the back, but uh, an opportunity for Palazzo to put herself into medal contention in this backstroke and maybe just starting to tire here a little bit. Good work also being done by, by Maria Pavlova, the European Championships bronze medalist, but Jessica Long at the turn, and once she gets into the stroke, she just looks imperious. I mean, yeah, look at the height she's getting on every stroke and how she surges forward with her arms, very strong underwater every single time. I mean, there's no other swimmer right now in this heat who has strokes as sound as Jessica Long. And that's something that could uh, go even further when you talk about her technical ability, but going for a second place, a silver here. Palazzo of Italy is set herself up nicely to 
challenge for the silver. Pavlova is looking really strong, just starting to fade. Here is Gonzalez, who for a while looked to be up, but Haven Shepard is making a bit of a push in lane one. Maybe a little too much ground for any of the swimmers to catch up on the three that have gotten away in long in the center. Gold medalist in 2008, gold medalist in 2012, gold medalist in 2016. How many of us remember her as that 12-year-old, fresh-faced, who managed to claim three gold medals, produced the unthinkable in Athens. Here she is on her way to another milestone medal in what has been a tremendously tough time for her. She has come back and she is looking to impress. She doesn't want to just make finals. She doesn't want to just make the podium. She wants to win gold medals. And Jessica Long, ambitious and absolutely incredible. She is imperious and peerless in the pool as she swims to her 25th Paralympic Games medal and a 14th gold, importantly, for the 29-year-old American. It's a brilliant swim from Palazzo, who set up this uh, silver with a backstroke leg that was really solid. And then Pavlova coming home to take bronze at the Paralympic Games after finishing in bronze medal position at the European Championships. It'll be a touch for fourth year for uh, Gonzalez of Colombia. Haven Shepard good enough for uh, fifth. Mark touches sixth with uh, swimmers Finter and Dushkova coming home seventh and eighth. But I've, I've got to talk about Pavlova's swim as well. I mean, uh, uh, but Palazzo's swim as well. Uh, and just look at it, Jessica Long saying good job. I mean, it, when you have someone like Jessica Long in your classification, it's, it's very hard to compete. You know, she's such a technically sound swimmer, as I was, as I was saying before. But, it, you know, for second and third, those were also remarkable swims. So you have to give credit to them. Now, that is a brilliant swim from somebody who made the final of the World Championships but did not medal. And she did manage to medal in the 400 free, did uh, Xenia Francesca Palazzo.